action is here. Voting centers opened at 7 o'clock this morning. That's about 20 minutes ago. They'll stay open until 7 o'clock tonight. I spoke with the Bernalillo County Clerk, Linda Stover, about the historic early voting numbers that we've seen in the state this year so far and what you need to do now if you plan on voting today. Joining us this morning, we have Bernalillo County Clerk, Linda Stover. Good morning. Good morning to you. Happy Election Day. Absolutely. Uh, I know you've been extremely busy over the last few weeks with early voting. It is now Election Day, but let's talk about the numbers before all these, uh, you know, last-minute uh, election uh, you know, voters are going to hit the polls today. How, how many people have voted in early and uh, absentee voting? In early voting, we have 144,243 people that have walked in and voted cast their vote. Absentee ballots accepted, 131,993, which gives us a total of 276,237 voters. And Crystal, that's a 62.4 turnout right now. That is a remarkable number, knowing that many people, more than 62% of registered voters, have already cast a ballot before Election Day even kicked off. Uh, and what are you anticipating on Election Day? I expect this to be extremely busy. We'll have 70 sites all over Bernalillo County, but there's 170 people, 170,000 people that still need to vote that are registered and can vote. So they need to get out and get this done. Uh, you know, I, I know you mentioned 70 voting locations. Uh, you know, for, for people who are, are avid uh, uh, voters on Election Day, where can they get details on where they can cast that ballot um, and the times and the locations and all the information they need today? They can go to BernCoVotes, with an S, dot org, and that'll have everything they need to know on there. You can find all the election day sites. You can find uh, all the locations. You'll get the hours. They're 7 to 7. It uh, should have everything. You can get a sample ballot and run it before you go, which will help you save time because we've got a big ballot. It's 11 by 14. And it's a front and a back. So you want to look at the lower races, too, down on the ballot. And if you mark that before you go in, you won't be in there that long. You know, I know we've, we've, been, we've been talking about the, the big numbers of early voters. What do you think was a driving force to get all of these voters out so early? The excitement of this campaign, of this election, is just unexplainable. The passion on both sides, which I think is marvelous. It's our democracy in action. Everybody I talk to are really interested in this and really want to be involved. Young people, we've had so many young people vote for the first time. We've had a lot of 80-year-olds come in and vote for the first time. They've never been registered. A lady said, I've decided it's time to vote. She's 80 years old. So it's just drawing everybody in, and I think it's marvelous. Do you think it's just the presidential race, or do you think there are other races that are, that are calling on voters to come out? I think it's our state races, too, because every senator, I'm not every senator, every representative is on this ballot. We've got 12 judges on this ballot. There's a lot being done in our state for and against COVID. I think people are interested in how their state representative or their judge is reacting to this. They have feelings on that. I think the whole atmosphere is just the perfect storm for a fantastic turnout for election. Yeah, I, I really want to talk about um, how we are not a postmark state. I know it's been all over the news with all the, the mail-in ballots. New Mexico is not a postmark state, so that means they have to get their ballot in by mm -hmm. 7 p.m. on election day. By 7 p.m. It has to be turned in. We will have runners that go all day to pick up ballots from ballot boxes. At 7 o'clock, we will pick up every ballot box, so it will be in the clerk's possession at 7 o'clock Tuesday night. All absentee ballots. And we do not have a date where if it's postmarked by 7, we can count it till Tuesday. That's the end of our vote. It's 7 o'clock election night, November 3rd. So if you requested a mail-in ballot, you can no longer mail it in. No, you need to no. go to a polling location. And you can take it to 5th and Marquette. We'll have a drive through ballot drop-off box where you don't even get out of your car. It'll be right by the clerk's office. Drive through, just drop it in the ballot box, and off you go. You know, I, I need to ask you this question about voter integrity. I know that's been a big question this uh, campaign. Uh, uh, tell me how the votes are tabulated in Bernalillo County. Well, they're done through a tabulator. They're done, <laughs> excuse me, privately. We have an election board and we have an absentee board. And they've all taken a class, they've sworn an oath, and they, they help with the clerk's office. It's all run by the citizens. It's equally Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, and we have challengers and watchers. 
There's uh, cameras all around. I mean, we've, we've really gone to great lengths to make ours as transparent, as open as possible. I feel very comfortable. Okay, we're down to the last hours of this presidential election. Again, where can people find out more details about voting today? BernCoVotes.org. Participate in this election. Don't just observe it. The biggest one in your lifetime. I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Sure. Thank you. Happy voting. Center locations are where to drop off that absentee ballot today. You can find out all that information over on our website. That's always on krq.com. Get out there and vote. With